Hey guys, how are you today? Got another guitar that I went up getting to the grout. It's the GR35. This is their uh, 335 style guitar. Nice truss rod cover, one screw. satin finish on it positive grid clean sound something yeah so this is the grab 35 it's in a satin green finish on it, as you can see. Plastic is still on the pit guard. You notice they have a different shape to it. It's got the, uh, if I say it right, Sapili wood that they're using for the body. It's supposed to be lighter. looks good you can feel the grain on it obviously you can see the grain in it uh, I'm gonna plug this that way you can see it's a nice off-white creamish binding on it I mean it's got I mean, again, I've done nothing to this guitar, and the frets are polished, and there's no sharp fret ends, and obviously, you can, if you can see, they've been roll, rounded off, which is nice. Bone nuts, probably the nuts, probably plastic on it. Obviously, you got your the tuners are okay, you know, generic cheap tuners on it. I mean, they do like the truss rods of metal, one screw instead of the three, which is easy. A nice little, whatever inlay they use on it. Rosewood fingerboard. Like I said, P90s that are in here, they sound pretty decent. Tunematic bridge, generic stuff. I mean, I definitely like the uh, side uh, jack input here instead of up here. It's, it's instead of having a cord. Yeah, I like I like it here. Definitely like it. Obviously, two volumes and uh, two tones on it. I'm just going by. I mean, they do come in other colors. On it, it's a gray, which is probably nice. Vintage sunburst and a red. If you go on Amazon, you'll see the colors, they look pretty cool. Green is, uh, I like the green because far away it doesn't look green, it looks like a 
I don't know. Charcoal, maybe. I don't know. My eyesight's going bad on it. But yeah, Sapili. Obviously, the nickel frets. And nothing special about that. The fretboards. So, nickel is basically. Uh, I think they're a satin finish. They say they use for. Instead of the reflective, the glossy finish, you know. I'm sure there's a gimmick behind uh, why they use that, but it's supposed to be for glare, I guess. Then again, matte finishes, I'm not a fan of. As soon as you, you, you touch them, they got fingerprints, they smudge, and eventually they get, like, shiny spots on it. At least this, there's no... There's nothing... There's no fingerprints or anything that's you could see, and you could actually probably eat pizza and uh, clean your hands, and then still touch and not have uh, any issues. But it's coming in at uh, a little bit over ten pounds, which isn't too bad. Uh, you know, on that, like I said, and you got your generic. Uh, Dime size uh, pots on here. I mean, it's a decent size uh, three way uh, toggle switch. It's not the cheap one. Well, I'm not saying it's expensive, but it's, uh, you know, not bad. Neck, neck is uh, made from maple. That's what they're claiming. I'm not a professional. Uh, and uh, the scale length is uh, 24, almost 25. Oh, I unplugged it. That's why. Responsive. This is the bridge. strings I use, the nickel, I mean the same nickel. Very uh, snappy, that's the right word that I'm looking for. Which is a little loud, but it is what it is, right? Mm -hmm. 
pickups not too bad. No high fret ends whatsoever on it, which is a nice thing. Uh, the only adjustments I did was the uh, string height on it. I mean, the uh, relief in the neck was fine. No issues there. Feels good. No complaints with that. Yeah, I mean, down the road, maybe I'll put uh, the witchcraft, uh, witch hat style uh, knobs on there, which I like. I mean, it doesn't come with a poker chip on there, which is fine. On it. It's got the, the good strap buttons, the mushroom tops, which is nice. I mean, I w really wish uh, the guitars came without these on here. I mean on the side as an option because sometimes the guitars look better without them on there than they do with it but that's my opinion on it uh, and the only really uh downfall well, it does have uh it looks like it has some sort of uh oh, you're probably not gonna see it on there no, definitely not going to see it on there, but it looks like there's another plate under here to raise this up, so if you wanted to lower it, it looks like you might be able to unscrew it, take the plate out, and then you could probably drop this more, because this, this one doesn't have it, and I'm probably not, yeah, if you probably not gonna see it on there but yeah it's definitely in halfway there so obviously you could probably remove it and lower the pickup because you could definitely feel well, I could rub my fingernail across it and it will uh, fit on here I mean this company's been around since 1989 as the stickers that they always put in their guitars I mean, all in all it's not you know shabby but I mean <sighs> I mean, down the road, I mean, some of these guitars, they, they should make, like, an access panel back here. I mean, I know once they're in, but it's in. But sometimes if you wanted to upgrade the, uh, the parts, I mean, the first three are good. Toggle switch is good. Obviously, this is pretty easy to do, but this would be the bad boy that you have to stick something in there I mean they do sell a tool for it I mean I used the I made a wire hanger I used the wire hanger to with a little bend in it to stick in there and hold it up while you're turning but, but yeah it's another uh, decent guitar I mean they seem to be seated very well no uh, issues with that, obviously. Everything is 
you know, it was intonated, no issues with intonation. Acoustically. So, yeah, well, this is the Grout GR35 in a satin green finish. Uh, got it on Amazon for $200 on it. I mean, it came in a decently packaged box, not styrofoam. It's in a some type of encasing in a box very well packaged on that so it didn't come with any dings or nothing but yeah two hundred dollars so you know it's not a whoop just a bang on that oh and i see it's got just kind of weird it's got a little uh little rubber bush in there to keep it off the paint but you think after all these years they would put put one I mean all the guitars under that screw mark where the nut is where you know because over the course of time those always have a tendency to bend down but on this, I don't see an issue with that because it's resting on top of the uh, the pickup. So that is support. So obviously that's not going anywhere. But it is a little rubber piece they got there to keep it from hitting the paint, which is pretty cool. Uh, other than that, that's about it. All right. Peace out. Until next time.